Nancy, here's an interesting question as we welcome back to your feel-good kitchen this morning. Are you looking for an easy, plant-based dinner alternative? Well, we've got the perfect recipe for you to try it tonight. Our three ingredients, eggplant lasagna. Not only very quick and fuss-free, but also apparently delicious and packed with nutrients and flavor. Um, and I love eggplants. I love the umaminess of eggplants. I love how the flavor profile changes the more you develop when you grill it. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. There's so much that you can do with it and there's so many alternatives that it can be when it comes to these standard recipes that we know and especially something like a lasagna, lasagna man. For Come sure. on. This one's getting me really excited. So we're going to start off with our Let's call it our hero ingredient. Our it's really hero is. today, It's bringing the yeah. flavor. It's bringing what you said, that umaminess to yes. it. And I think everything in here is going to absorb this. So all we're going to do, G-Man, open this up. Maybe I can okay. get you to assist me on this one. I'm uh, there for up. you, my we're friend. We're going to start layering this up, right? All right? So you'll start with that beautiful layer on the bottom there. Okay. Not too thick because we're going to kind of do this a couple times. Sure. Um, but I but suppose it's following the lasagna principle, right? Yeah, pretty much sure. the same. But obviously, we're going to create that little spin on things. We've got all the good stuff here. So Ooh. all the real hard work is essentially been done by our... Um, Denny uh, Java there with an uh, incredible pasta sauce, which I think is making everything that much easier. So let it me show you. It smells amazing, dude. And we yeah. haven't even cooked it yet. I'm like, mm, <laughs> I am getting hungry. So what we've got here, instead of like the traditional pasta sort of sheets that we would use, we're going to be using our eggplant here. Ah. Why it's on the tray at the moment is because if you've ever worked with it, yeah. Very moist. It uh, holds a lot of water, right? For sure. That's why I like grilling it on a really high heat or something for exactly. that exact reason. So okay. that's exactly what we're going to do. But we've kind of gone a step further. And what we've done is add a little bit of salt to this, kind of just to draw out some of that moisture. All right. And I've also left it on some of this um, paper, paper towel here. So anything that can absorb some of the moisture, pull it out, is going to be a great thing because that's going to leave you with a, a crispier, more layered sort of mm, eggplant. It's going to be a bit more pasta-esque. Ex exactly <laughs> suppose, that. Yeah, so listen, sure. I've got the pan on hot already. So let's just get these straight in here obviously make sure that you don't have any remnants of the paper, the paper towel, towel for sure, yeah. put it in here. hey listen we've all eaten our fair share of paper yeah. towel over the years i have no doubt <laughs> um, i love that so while you work on one of the stars of the uh -huh. show here our beautiful brinjals of course our denny cooking sauce it, it's plug and play and i say that a lot when it comes to these sorts of meals but that's the value here it's so easy they've done the flavor development already and this cooking sauce range including this beautiful creamy mushroom sauce it's a flavor that heats up in just 10 minutes making it so so quick, so fuss free, and a great meal time. I think, um, hack if you will, a little fast forward button. Um, big things for me no added MSG, yeah. no added preservatives, and that is massive when you're eating a lot of these kinds of foods and you've got kids. Um, mm. So, um, as Ralph said, we want to cover the eggplant slices in some coarse salt on the paper towel. I think that's absolutely brilliant. And about 20 minutes to, to really get that moisture out, you want as much released as possible. So you yeah. get that almost slightly kind of um, dehydrated look there. And I get what you mean, because you want these to crisp up and that, and that flavor yeah. to really develop. And it does on the griddle pan. I think it's perfect for this. I'm showing you now how easily this comes together because look at these little grill lines that we've yes. got. Just adding that authenticity to it. You don't want to go too crispy on this one, right? Because you don't want it to completely dry out. So you can kind of gauge it on time. I'm going to show the camera something that I think is absolutely perfect. Look at this. Uh, yeah, it starts to get a little, little bit translucent. Yeah. And then it's really about the fun part and that's adding these layers of goodness. So I'm going to kind of just fast forward this process because I think we're not going to wait too long on getting these brinjals done. But oh. again, you can kind of eye this some Zanzi and make sure that you get it to your consistency. Because again, sure. I think we all have that preference. And regardless, this is also a great way to sneak veg in for the kids. They're never going to even realize this. Uh, but it's, right? it's, it's a beautiful flavor profile that they're often scared of because it is a veg. And I didn't mm. realize that kids are actually wired to be scared of those strong veggie tastes because a lot of toxins were found in that kind of flavor profile. So when you're yeah. young, your brain literally has an emergency button there to press when, when you potentially are eating something that could be poisonous. That's so you true. couldn't just yeah. eat random vegetables because half would have been poisonous or really <laughs> unhealthy. Yeah. So um, you're fighting nature, literally, when you're trying to get your kid to eat Crazy, vegetables. Yeah. So if you can change the flavor profile a little bit and dress it up as something else, it's not just a, a fun notion that we always say on the show to get you to 
cook for your kids more. It literally is that hack. Um, I love it. And here, obviously, the flavor development, I think once you've got that translucent look, the flavor mm. changes dramatically in the brinjal. It gets like a nutty, beautiful. Yes. Oh, man. So 100%. I'm there for that. Jimin, I'm just uh, getting a Mzanzi reminder on the fact that I am adding these layers now. These are the sheaths, if you weren't aware of what was going on, <laughs> that are going to literally apply straight over this. We pop some cheese on that. Yes, and then we, do. we repeat that process. We do it again. Now, my, my real tip here is to get probably the tallest bowl that you can because that's going to allow you for, to get as many layers in as you can. So. Make it see <laughs> yeah. if you can. Make it a glass. Okay, I'm going to leave you all the pieces that you need to keep on layering up there. Long, yeah. I love this. You can do it small. You can do it gigantic. Just to do it. Three ingredients for all of this. And remember, you guys also have the added bonus of winning an eight-piece cast iron cookware set to the value of 4,000 Rand plus weekly Denny hampers valued a thousand rand each. That's a lot of meals collectively wrapped up in one. And right now it's time to congratulate our next lucky 1000 rand hamper winner. A massive congratulations to Sadia Haider who entered with these, look at this mouth-watering Alfredo bread pockets. Yum, that that is so clever. good. Ooh. I love it when we take two things that don't seemingly go together and create something new. Yeah, I'm here for it. Beautiful. Absolutely. I love the Alfredo wow. flavor and the notion looks beautiful. You stand a chance now to be the next winner as well. So what you've got to do, simply create a three ingredient meal using any Denny product. Then submit that recipe, the photo and or video onto the Facebook or Instagram pages, please. That's the platform. And entries can also be submitted via DM just by commenting on the Denny post or by tagging at Denny mushrooms and don't forget that all important qualifying hashtag Denny deliciousness um, on all of your posts otherwise we just won't see them and the entries close on the 11th of next month but you can find T's and C's at Denny.co.z straight hey. in the oven 195 degrees around 12-15 minutes and you're done with the best lasagna you could have thought for this weekend uh, I'm all crisp on the top so maybe a little bit longer <laughs> <laughs> wow. nice job